ears that they're awfully good. So there's the gap. Jeff Gordon to Kevin Harvick. 1.2 seconds. With another full second back to third place Paul Menard and fourth place Joey Logano. The moment of the race brought to you by Dairy Queen. The restart with 17 to go when Jeff Gordon found a way to clear Joey Logano. And once he cleared him off the restart, Logano challenged back. And Gordon, as you said, DJ, just drove it on into turn three to find a way to stay ahead of him. Interesting coincidence. You mentioned the Indianapolis restart. The restart here with 17 to go. The restart that Jeff called the restart of his career at Indianapolis was with 17 to go. <laughs> well, That's the sweet spot, evidently. <laughs> Well, if you can fix it up so the last restart comes with 17 to go, Jeff's your guy. Yeah, look out for Jeff. Yeah. Well, the thing is, you give him too many chances of this, as good as yeah. he is, he's going to figure something out and a way to beat you. He's not going to continue to get let the same thing continue to happen. So the Richmond regular season finale to settle it all out. Here's the gap. Gordon and Harvick. My assessment, agree or disagree, a little closer, but not quite there yet. No, not exactly what they're looking for and need, for sure. And the white flag up for Jeff Gordon, who enters his final lap here at Michigan. The value of a team riding momentum and confidence and all believing in each other and pulling the rope in the same direction on display week after week with this 24. Remember they were dominant last week at Watkins Glen for a while. Had an electrical problem, took him out of the race. They came back and have been so strong here at Michigan today. Checkered flag is up and his third win of the season for the four-time champion, Jeff Gordon. For third place, Logano barely we earned this one, baby. We earned it. And that was an awesome team effort. So proud of you guys. Way to go, man. What a season we're having. Great job, buddy. Thank you. The 227th. NASCAR Sprint Cup Series win for Rick Hendrick as a team owner. And for that driver, his 91st career victory. He put a Chevy emblem on the manufacturer's trophy. He did that. That's it, buddy. You won that. You and your restarts won that race right there. Great job, babe. Great job. So proud of you. So proud of you guys. Rick Hendrick wasn't even sure that race team was going to make it through the first year if they put it all together. Celebration for the winner and the hurt of the one who saw it get away. Doc. Basically used every trick in the book that I had, and I know the 24 was also, and he was laying back really hard. And so every game that could be played was being played on the restarts. And I had a really good one, the last one. I had the run, and then uh, I was clear, I guess. And I should have pulled down in front of him and got uh, the draft from him. Instead, he had enough momentum to get up to my quarter panel and pull me back. And then uh, he had position on me going into the corner and was able to... Uh, carry that momentum into the lead and just got beat by a better car today and, and a better team that just executed at the right time.
congratulate Jeff Gordon. Special moments. It's been a special season for this race team. It's been 13 years since Jeff has been to Victory Lane here. You had to ask where Victory Lane was. First off, though, on people's minds, the difference in restarts, Jeff, from the first half of the race to the last half. Was it an adjustment or, or was it all hard? Um, it wasn't easy. It's never easy to win uh, at any of these tracks, especially when aerodynamics and track position mean so much. You know, I thought we learned a lot the last time we were here um, on track position. So Alan just called a perfect race. Kept getting in that inside lane and just not getting very good restarts. And uh, I knew it was going to get exciting with Kurt and Joey. Those two are very, very aggressive. And, of course, Kurt got loose. And that last restart um, was, was it. I mean, we had the car to win. Our car was am amazing. But whoever got out front had such a huge advantage. So, you know, I got a, a, a good restart. And Kevin, for some reason, wasn't getting good restarts. So Joey was sort of out there by himself. And I was able to get to his quarter. When I got in his quarter, I drug him back, and I was able to shoot to the bottom and get by. But he made a heck of an effort. I, I thought he was going to get back by me. He almost did. And I just need a couple laps for my tires to come in. And all of a sudden, we are out front setting sail, and the checker flag was waving. This is just unbelievably awesome. And got to say hi to Ingrid and Ellen Leo back home. They didn't, couldn't come today, but uh, we're celebrating your honor here. And this is amazing. This is just fantastic. Jeff, you said it on the radio. It's been quite the ride this season. Three victories already. What is it about this car, maybe the rules package this year, that's just playing into your hands? What is it about you guys? It, it's it's everything. You know, it's Hendrick Motorsports and the job that they do collectively with all of our teammates and the engineers. Um, everybody's building the chassis and bodies and preparing these cars back at the shop. Engines are amazing. Uh, and then I got to give so much credit to Alan Gustafson and his his crew. I mean, this guy is such a great leader. I've been I, I knew that he had this in him, and he's been showing it by bringing great race cars every weekend. And uh, today was more than just a great race car. It, it, it took the whole team effort, making great calls. And of course, uh, you know, I had a good restart again. That was that was fun. But man, these guys, they're just awesome. I love it. Rick Hendricks here. I love celebrating wins with him. Just like at Indy, with 17 to go, had the restart of his life. And just like at Indy, it was in the same race car. Alan? 